Welcome to this tutorial about the two-quadrant constant torque brake. Included with the other dynamometer functions, the two-quadrant constant torque brake is the one you will probably use the most, and that's why this function deserved its own complete tutorial. Let's see how it works. After connecting this power cord to a wall receptacle, turn on this switch to start the 8960. When the screen is loaded up, Select the dynamometer function by using the switch here. Once selected, cycle through the functions using the function button until two quadrant constant torque brake appears here. Ranged from 0 to 3 newton meters using the control knob, this function is basically a rotating brake used to study the behavior of a coupled machine under certain load conditions. For example, this function is perfect to draw the couple versus speed curve usually seen when describing a motor or generator. In this case, a DC motor is coupled to the 8960. Before going through a real demonstration, let's talk about the display. The most important point you have to remember is that the display of the 8960 always gives the parameters of the machine under test at the machine's drive shaft. This means that speed, torque, and power are actual values of the machine that is connected to the 8960, regardless of whether this machine is in motor or generator mode. By convention, clockwise rotation corresponds to a positive speed, while counterclockwise rotation corresponds to a negative speed. If the machine under test is a motor, power is positive, and torque always has the same sign as speed. However, if the machine under test is a generator, power is negative, and torque is always of the opposite sign of speed. Before starting the function, make sure the command knob is turned fully counterclockwise so the value flashing is equal to zero. Once done, start the function. Using a power supply, I also start the DC motor. To apply a braking torque, turn the command knob clockwise to the desired value. As you can see, the motor slows down the more I increase the braking torque. From there, various tests can be done using only this function. And that's it for the two-quadrant constant torque brake.